Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mangs, and I welcome to part 8 of Let's Play Civilization 5, a brand new world, playing as Bismarck of the German Empire. So we're currently at war with multiple people. Rome is pushing particularly hard. So, um, once I'm done building these research labs, I do plan to go full out on unit production. Simply because... Uh, this is no longer a game that I can't sit around and wait for too long. I do need... I do need to build up an army. However, I, if I don't get research labs first, I'm gonna fall too quickly behind. Uh, he actually wants open borders with me. I would actually strengthen our relationship, I suppose. I could do that. He's very friendly with me now, because I just liberated... As I said, liberating someone's cities, huge. Absolutely massive. You should do it. And it also took, uh, it also, uh, it also damaged Rome pretty hard. I, I haven't actually checked if he wants to sue for peace. I have smashed two of his cities, so I suppose that should count. If not, I'll just do some damage to him and scare him off a little bit. Oh crap, my crossbowman might actually die. Guy Jamada is plotting against Gandhi, sure. We get only a minor boost from actually sharing a tree with someone, but every little bit helps, right? It also makes the computers distrust each other a lot more. Alright, let's see, maybe he's actually interested in suing for peace. Nah, he doesn't want to talk. Especially not when, um... God damn it, Rome. Especially not when, um... He has a triplanes and I don't. Which is a pretty significant boost. Uh, I fear for my crossbowmen, I really do. I don't think there's anywhere safe I can put them, actually. Uh, okay, we're gathering intelligence. I am uh, gonna be done with most of my research labs pretty soon. Yeah, ten turns, seven turns, five turns, three turns. Yeah, I took my crossbowman out. And I'm gonna get Nashvastein in Hamburg, which is actually pretty insane, so I should probably build castles in my cities, just for the bonus. It is pretty considerable. The wonder itself is worth uh, four happiness, two culture, and two happiness, four culture, and six gold, and gives a great merchant points. But it also increases plus three gold, two culture, and one happiness for every castle, which is pretty insane. Considering castles are pretty cheap. Wow, oh, I was afraid that was actually an Auschwitz time. Nah, I knew someone would grab Crystal Redentor. That's too good for wonder. The AI will grab it pretty quickly. Um, however, now that I'm actually at peace with Harun al Rashid. It's not unthinkable that I would actually um, be able to um, to start trading again. In fact, I think I will do that. Alright, I can build a farm right here. That's good. And once I have armories... Oh, there's going to be so many tanks. Or I could build, start building land ships, I suppose. Just build your goddamn farm. What are you bitching about? I guess I could start applying a little bit of pressure to these city ups up here. I would prefer to strike a peace treaty with Rome. I'm not sure if I... Uh, I don't know, I'm actually not sure who I should go after. I can't go after Arabia, because he's my new buddy. I might go after Gandhi, I don't know. I think it's going to have to be Rome, but it, it seems like Rome is pretty darn weak. Pocatello has him basically surrounded. I don't really know how he has the resources to go to war with me at all. Truth be told. But yeah, we sure we're gonna move towards uh, Uprium, and we're gonna start inflicting some damage to him. We have an artillery right here, which we could use. We have two in artillery, in fact. I don't like those triplanes, though, so I'm gonna have to uh, get some... Yeah, it's actually triplanes, yeah, so I'm gonna get some triplanes of my own. But I'm gonna be pretty starved for oil. I'm gonna need some more sources of oil pretty darn quick. Alright, awesome, we have Nashvastein. That's pretty nice. That means we can go for a research lab right here. We have a promotion. Uh, I'm guessing I could grab Siege on those. You know what, I think I will. I do plan to take the city with them, sooner or later. Alright, at any rate. We can start to cause a little bit of trouble right here. Ah, I can even promote these fuckers, that's good. Okay, apparently we have no more slots of music left. However, we can only build an amphitheater or something like that to solve that issue. So that shouldn't be too hard. That's what she said. Har har. Alright, let's build some... Let's chop some forests and build some farms, actually. Uh, 
I could probably bring the Great War Infantry. I th I'm probably gonna bring all of my artillery, really. I feel pretty safe that Harun al Rashid won't backstab me. Although, you should never really feel safe in civilization, but at least I feel like it's very unlikely at this point. But yeah, I'm gonna, once I'm done with this research lab, I'm gonna start pumping out cargo ships again. I'm gonna start trading with Arabia and Gandhi. That should be pretty good. I don't think I'm enemies with any of these city states. No, I don't think I'm enemy with any city state, really. Ah, yes, I am. Beograd, uh, Genoa. Yeah, they, I, I'm kind of locked with them. Where are they? Beograd is right here. That's not going to be a trouble. Oh, Beograd is actually getting attacked. Okay. Uh, no, thank you, actually. Uh, do you value aluminium, though? Because I don't really need aluminium right now. I might actually be able to tra trade aluminium for um, for luxury if I really wanted to. All right, a great scientist, cool. So, what tech do we want to go for next? Probably, probably combined arms, so we can start building panzers. That sounds like a pretty solid thing to do. Yes. All right. Uh, now we finally have our. Um, I'm gonna grab a uh, forge. And then I'm gonna start producing tanks. Okay, let's pop our great scientists. Destruct a farm. Let's just move. Oh, look here, Indonesian great war infantry. All right, now we can play with Indonesia a little bit. Okay, well, fine. I, th that is fine. I have uh, infantry, so that shouldn't be any problem, really. They do have a great general, which worries me. But I have a lot more stuff than they do, at least from what I can see. Um, the pikemen can pretty much just stay there as uh, as fortification uh, buffer, really. However, I'm getting 600 science per turn on. That's even before the research labs. That is pretty sick. I might very well... Ooh, yeah, of course, my crossbowmen are getting slaughtered, but that's fine. They're just fodder at this point. They're just draining my income. I don't really mind being rid of them. But yeah, I'm gonna... If I... Uh, I don't necessarily want to destroy his city, because that's gonna give me the warmonger penalty again. I think I have to, though. If I ever want to make peace with him, I have to. But I'm gonna... Ooh, actually, Indonesia is moving out pretty hard here. Okay, I'll bring my great general for this, I think. I, I'm not gonna leave this fort. Or this citadel, but... I probably will have to bring a great war infantry up here. Yeah, I think that's going to be pretty much a must. That's a lot of stuff he's sending at me, actually. Alright, let's use our artillery to shell these fuckers. We're getting a nice flanking bonus from this. There we go. Sweet! Now, I think I'm gonna wait for Panzer Tech before I actually start building Panzers. Oh my god, I, I need... No, actually, no, I need triplanes immediately. That I do. Immediately. I would like Heroic Epic, though, if I could get that. I don't think a barracks should be really that hard to build in Munich, to be quite honest. I could actually postpone the research lab. Uh, he wants to pay me for peace. Hmm. Sure, I don't mind. I don't really want to fight him anyway. Now I can focus all my attention on Rome, which is pretty nice. But holy crap, those fighters do a lot of damage to me. Sure, what if I throw in some aluminium? Will they give me ivory? Yeah, nice. And research agreements too. If I had the cash for that, that'd be great. But no. Um, and now I'm going to get my uh, my second research lab. Alright, I completely forgot about that uh, world thingy. Alright, let's retreat for now. And just focus on dealing damage to Rome. I'm not going to be able to do much, though, I think. Not until we get our... Um... Alright, so yes. I would like him. I would like Heroic Epic, but I would... Nah. I require two barracks. How, how long does it take to build the barracks? Two turns. Perhaps that would be worth it. One turn, definitely. Alright, put a guy into research lab. and Oh, what's this? There we go. 
And I really want heroic epic. To start working on a military academy for now. But yeah, unless I, I should... Can I get anti-air guns? Yes, I will. No, anti-tank gun. What do you need for anti-air guns? I only have anti-aircraft gun. Alright. That's great then. Uh, I definitely need some of those. I could actually bring them instead of being... I mean, I, I need all my oil for tanks. In fact, hmm. I think I'm just going to have to go for some anti-aircraft gun immediately, actually. It's going to take six turns, but I really need them if I'm going to be able to take down... Yeah, you see how much damage I'm taking from the... From the triplanes and shits, that's not good. But once I get some anti-aircraft guns up there, I should be fairly good, I guess. But after I built my anti-aircraft gun right now, I can go for... Ooh. Maybe when uh... Yeah. That's great. I did try two luxuries for one on embassy, but... I'm not friendly with him, which is pretty ins I still have uh, difficulties understanding how the diplomatic relations in this game go works, but I do believe that er after I remove my warmonger penalty by liberating those two cities, it's going to be much easier for me. All right, we can start... Uh, actually, we can start shelling the city right now. And I'm actually going to grab... Uh, I think I'm going to grab Medic, actually. And then just uh, switch places with these two. Alright, let's go back to the city and rest up. So, I think it's definitely time to start building. Uh, does Seaport give you any bonuses to trade routes? No, no they don't. Alright, I'm just going to queue up a whole bunch of cargo ships here in the city. So I can get seven trade routes, which is going to be very nice. Alright. Here we have an infantry right here. Uh, ambush plus one combat, no, combat strength against armor units. Or we can get grab drill three, which I think is going to be much better. Because it's all rough terrain all the way to here. Uh, there we go. Let's just fortify up. I think they're all already fortified. Yeah, we're going to crush that city. Ugh, stupid air units. Actually, that was no air units, I think. Those are enemy artillery bombarding me right there. That's a little bit strange. Alright. No, 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 he wants eh? to trade. Uh, do you value iron? No. Okay, now that's fine with me. I have 11 happiness right now. That makes me feel really good. So, did I place a unit in the... Uh, no, I did not. That's important to do. Even though I'm getting two food per turn now, which is not ideal. Alright, but now I have even more science. Now it's 705 science per turn. And I got a great engineer, which means I can grab a wonder. Is there any wonders I particularly want? Um, I think maybe just a manufactory would be ideal here. It would give me a lot. I don't know. I really don't know. Alright, uh, I think it's about time. Actually, I'm, ooh, a castle would be really tempting right now, but no. I'm going to need some more anti-aircraft guns. Let's, uh, actually, I'm going to heal myself up here. Because or else they will actually die. Alright, I could destroy this Gatling gun. Hoo -hoo. Nothing like sieging a city. Alright, let's get our research lab done. Yeah, that great engineer can be put to good. I could actually grab Pentagon with that if it hasn't been taken already. Which probably would be a good thing. Alright, let's get a great general over there to help out. Uh, Brazilian still spies stole the secret of Silvis. Ah, Pedro can... Nah. Hola. We have decided to let your transgressions slide this time. That actually gives you a buff. So where is... I wonder he's still alive though. <laughs> No wonder how do another she just haven't squashed him yet. But yeah, I don't you don't really need triplanes. The anti aircraft guns also does a good job as long as you keep them with your army. They don't cost oil, which is kinda nice. Still working on this oil well here, it's gonna take me four turns. Uh I have some more aluminium right here, which might be useful. And I can grab this oil right here if I really wanted to. Aside from that I have to buy oil pretty much. Is that it? Alright. Just a single unit who hasn't moved yet. Alright. 
Ooh, what's going on here? Enemy frigate, enemy frigate. Ah, they're, just, they're bomb bombarding my infantry, alright. Cannons and shits. Yeah, I think uh, Ar Arpinum will fall. I am I'm gonna get a minor warmonger penalty, which is not huge, but I just as I start to get some good relationship. But they did declare war on me. Yes, Pocatello, yes, I would very much like to do that. Thank you. This is pretty cool right here. I am really starting to get back on track, which is why I'm considering actually not taking Arpinum. I could demand that he give it to me and then I could race it. That would not give me anything, so Alright, we have a cargo ship. That's just the highest goal we can get for this. 16 turns. That's do not take me through any enemy territory. So that is pretty kick ass. I'm actually gonna see if I got some trading quests. Uh, not a single one. That's kind of weird. Ah, I can finally stop being at war with these city states. Alright, 16 gold per turn. That's pretty decent. Alright, let's pillage and fortify. And we can st soon start attacking this city from a lot of different angles here. There we go. Uh, if Pentagon hasn't been taken, then I will actually use my Great Engineer to get Pentagon. But I somehow recall it being built earlier. However, uh, I'm going to start full-on Panzer production right now. Oh, we're sorry this has caused a divine between us. I, c I keep forgetting you can't be friends with everyone in this game. Sooner or later you are going to piss someone off. No matter how hard you try. Do we have any fucking citizens in this game who are still pissed at us? Oh, come on. Can't you just get along? Oh, I have two, actually. Holy crap. But now I have a lot more specialists, so... Yeah. So I should really keep remembering. Uh, like, an... an, um, an um, what do you call it? The citizens. The... Uh, Oh, barbarians. Man, the specialists, the citizen slots can actually be put to great use. Uh, in fact, I'm going to put some into the factory. I just got to keep remembering to do it. Uh, Alright. You come. Okay, there's probably someone. Yeah, there's a barbarian encampment right there. I should probably go clear it out. Uh, see, we have our artillery right now. Uh, however, we have a lot of rough. I think I'm going to grab. I would like march, but. Artilleries aren't really meant to damage anyway, so... I might be able to kill it. I'm probably going to lose that Great War Infantry right now. I probably was a little bit too hasty. But hey, it's okay. Um, let's see. Uh, should probably get over here and repair that shit. What should I do? I have an infantry right here. It was actually resting up. I could probably use that to go and fight off the... Uh, the Barbarian Encampment. Sounds like a good idea. What? They have two attacks? Yes, they do. Oh, I might actually... Ah! Alright, I'm gonna race... For sure, I'm gonna view it. See if there's... Nah, there's nothing good in it. I don't have the happiness to get another city. Alright, let's talk to Rome. Maybe he actually wants to make peace with me right now. Maybe even want to pay me something. No, he's, he's still pissed. Alright then. He might actually be able to take the city back. That wouldn't actually be a weird thing, because he has cannons in range of that thing. Yeah, he's going to take it back. However, I'm just going to siege it down and take it back again. And we can just see who has the most soldiers, I guess. Yes, research agreement. Yes, please. I'd love to. Really, I would. What I would also love to do would be not rebuilding my damn uh, trade routes all the fucking time. That would, I would be really happy if, if that could stop, because... This, I think I'm just going to trade with Gandhi and Harun al-Rashid actually, and just ditch the other leaders entirely because at least Gandhi and Harun al-Rashid has, hasn't declared war on me for a very long time. Gandhi hasn't declared war a single time, I think. Oh, somebody lost something. Alright, Arpinia was captured. I already knew that. Alright, well, let's just take it back then. That's gonna kill them, I think. But it's going to be raised pretty soon now. It has a population of one, so... Ah, I should have moved in my um, general first. That was kind of stupid of me. Oh, well. More farms. Okay, let's see. Uh, I think it's... We could build a military academy, of course, but... Yeah, sure, we're going to build a military academy. It works. All right, I think it's time to go... Ooh, a march is a very nice promotion, but so is Blitz. 
His infantries are getting so much value right now. Pew pew! Pew! Let's go repair. Oh, we might even get a good unit from that encampment, if we're lucky. But they're probably gonna... Nah, they're almost taking... But now I raised the city, so there's no way I can get it back. It, it will go down next turn. Friendly trade route plundered? What's going on right now? Gandhi plundered... Oh, right. Alright, okay. Gandhi and Harun al are at war, of course. They keep... They plunder trade routes that goes to me. I don't like that. I don't like it. Alright, have I put... Okay, Gandhi has made peace with Monaco and Laventa. Alright. Oh, wait, Budapest desires trade route. That's that's relevant, right? Ah, I might get an infantry unit, actually. That would be kind of cool. Alright, the oil is done. Uh, what should we... Ooh, we can... No, that, that cattle is already improved. I'm going to go improve the farm, actually. Okay. Uh, definitely we should get Heroic Epic, because that's a pretty important thing to have. We should also grab Armory. Uh, embargo Indonesia. Hmm. Hmm. I don't really want to vote for any of these, really. I don't want to vote against Harun, because that's going to piss him off. I'm just going to say I'm completely neutral in this uh, in this vote. Alright, now we have some freaking anti-air guns. And your city is now a rubbling pile of smoking dust. Alright. God damn it, I'm getting a lot of experience from this. As something tells me it's time to uh, play with the Romans right now. I do believe I should be able to attack his city from two different uh, uh, ballista points, so that's good. Alright, let's go uh, do something about this farm. Alright, another ca cargo ship. 14 gold per turn is better than nothing. It's pretty decent. If I can only keep them, that would be even better. Mm. I don't understand why he keeps sailing into my citadel. <laughs> Stupid AI is stupid. Alright, we need to get some uh, anti-aircraft guns covering our artillery, actually. What I like about anti-air guns is that they just constantly intercept. You don't have to order them to do it. They just do it automatically. They shoot at anything that attacks anything within the two tiles of them. They do pretty heavy damage, too. So, um, yeah. They're really good. They have pretty much a 100 combat strength against aircraft. And I think Triplanes has like something like... 45 or 50 or something. So they, they shoot down triplanes pretty darn fast. Alright. Let's get into position. We'll put our artillery right there and the other artillery right there. And we can... Ooh, we can... Ooh. Thank you. Thanks for the, your great general. That's very appreciated. How nice of you to make a donation to our cause. Alright. Let's go for a military academy. Ooh, we have another anti-aircraft gun. I think I'm going to give this one drill, actually. Uh, so there's a lot of rough terrain at our way. Yeah, we're gonna go full out on Rome right now. We're gonna teach those assholes a lesson. Alright. Oh my god, that barbarian encampment is spawning a lot of shit. Which is to be expected. This is out after all raging barbarians, so you'd expect as much. Alright, I didn't actually check out Pentagon, but it's taken. Alright. Um, no, actually, I haven't gotten the tech for it yet. God damn it. Can you stop pillaging my trade routes? I mean,. Harun al Rashid's trade routes, they're actually kind of important to me. They give me gold. And science, too. Okay, so I am going to place one artillery here, one artillery here, and I'm going to start shelling the city. It's still so low. These infantry units can just move in and take it. And that should make Rome freak out. If they don't, then something is very wrong. Alright, pew pew, and pew. Now, what should we go for? Now, we finally have our Panzers. We should probably go for Radar, in my opinion. Because getting airplanes is still pretty important. You can't just have anti-air guns. You need both, really. Okay. Let's get into position. How about the anti-aircraft? What am I doing? There we go. I could just use... No, wait. Pentagon is still here. Okay, I'm going to grab that very quickly before someone else does. There we go. Oh, ten turns remaining. I thought that would insta-pop it. Well, I really want Pentagon. I really want Pentagon. It's an extremely good wonder. But I do remember some trade routes asking, some cities asking for trade routes. Uh, Budapest. Can I trade with Budapest? Yes, I can. Pretty cool. Awesome. Alright, I think I'm actually going to put a spy on counterintelligence right now. I think that's going to be pretty much needed. 
But now that I have anti-aircraft around uh, this ship, then it shouldn't really be a big issue anymore. But that is one big choke point. I'm so glad I have this citadel. Really glad I have this citadel. Alright, Aretium. Hope you're ready to feel the pain, because it's coming for you. Oh, I need to press next turn. There we go. Yeah, that's it. And sh that shit is, should fall pretty darn quick. I feel like I may be a little bit gun-shy when I play this game. I keep overestimating the AI, but sometimes I actually don't realize that I have the strength to take cities. It's, really, it's very easy to get passive in Civilization. It's very easy, because you, you just sit back and tech up and build non-military structures, but sometimes you just need to get your ass out there and just start fighting. Or else the enemy is going to keep continuing to run over you time after time. I wonder if Pedro actually is starting to get some get back into this game. He actually has gotten a scoreboard now, which is cute. Alright, uh, maybe he has something to trade. Nah, this guy has nothing. Alright, uh, let's go for a military academy. We need to place citizens in the schools. I do believe we can do that now. Do we have... we need a research lab. There we go. Okay, we're getting 882 science right now, which is pretty huge. Alright. We might get the infantry. Yes, we did. Awesome. Fantastic. Gotta love the German bonus. It, it does fade away a little bit at the end. Alright, we're gonna choose a host. Um, let's see. If we vote for the Shoshone, then they will actually remain the leaders. Yeah, because they are they are leaders, so if they get a tie with Gandhi, which they most, most likely will, then uh, then they will actually win that tie. The host always win ties. Which is kind of cool. Alright, things are going pretty well right now. We have anti-aircraft guns. We're starting to get military academies. We're going to be able to pump out Panzers now, like it's no tomorrow. Uh, let's go repair that farm. We also should get a... Um, we really should get an amphitheater, so we have somewhere to... Uh, oh, wow. Okay. He just killed my artillery, the asshole. I didn't know that units could attack after embarking. I was not aware of this. Oh, he wants peace treaty. Alright. Give me some gold as well. Nah. That's fine, I, I gain nothing from being at war with you. This Rome I'm gonna crush right now, but... Yeah, I need a lot more artillery. And panzers, of course. A lot of panzers. This shitty is done with this military academy in 14 days. I think I think I'm gonna switch full-on production right now. Full-on production and panzers through the roof. Sounds like a thing to do. We are gonna get Pentagon soon. I thought I would insta-pop it, but I guess that's too... It's a good wonder. It's a very good wonder. You do save so much gold on this. Upgrades are pretty freaking expensive in this game. Alright, I'm gonna grab cover. I wanna leave the Gatling gun behind, though, actually. I, I want some defense in case another barbarian encampment decides to spawn. Alright, panzer time. Five turns. Is this city on production? Yes, it is. I'm just gonna queue up a whole bunch of panzers, really. And let's continue with the farms. We have another cargo ship. Any city-states want to trade? Am I at war with Monaco? Yes, I am. Uh, Sakaraman, but I know I can't do that because I know that's an inland city. However, 18 gold with Indonesia is pretty cool. Even though they do have a tendency of going to war with me, like, all the time. Ooh. Oh. Oh. I think I'm actually gonna have to do this. Yeah. yeah. I fear that infantry is gonna go for my artillery right now. That's gonna hurt a lot. I could go for some bombers as well, but I don't really like to spend my oil on this shit. Crap! How strong are these fuckers? Ah, oh, god damn it! Holy crap! Sure, I can be your friend. Gandhi has declared war on Pocatello. Ask it. Oh my god, Pocatello is getting swamped. 
It's a good thing, though. He is the leader. And, oh, God Maja has uh, made peace with Pocatello, apparently. Yeah, so now they're really happy with me. Look at all those positive modifiers. That's going to make it really easy for me to get tr uh, research agreements and the like. But yes, first things first, uh, I think I'm actually going to postpone the tanks. and I, I'm going to finish the one I have, but I'm going to go for artilleries first. That's actually pretty important. And maybe a bomber or two? I don't know. I'm actually not that sure. Let's build a... Uh, let's heal these guys up and send them to the front lines as well. We're going to wait upgrading them until we get Pentagon. Naturally. Uh, but yeah, that infantry thing annoyed the shit out of me. That should not happen. I need to make sure shit like that does not happen. Uh, one, two, three. Yes, I can build a farm here. Yeah, I'm going to finish the Panzer I have. And then I'm going to build a... Uh, I'm going to build a an, an artillery. That's only four turns. That's pretty decent. I can start building one here, too. How do not Rashid lost its capital? Oh. Oh. Oh, hello, Gandhi. You are really fucking Harun Rashid. Okay, I don't like that, because now Gandhi is my closest neighbor, and he's a deceptive little fuck. So, oh, I lost a spy as well. All right. That's too bad. Hmm. No, I don't want to upgrade the Gatling gun yet. Machine guns are pretty decent, though, especially especially this one who has two range. That will actually be a kick-ass unit to have. But yeah, I gotta watch out for these ships. Yeah, my good buddy. He's f happy with the fact that I'm friends with Songhai. Hmm. I can show him a little bit more. If you want to. Now we have embassies. Doesn't look like the most people were were annoyed with the fact that I uh, that I uh, that I crushed uh, Caesar's city. But then again, minor war 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 pongering mental <laughs> war mongering penalty doesn't really affect much. Ooh, I'm gonna be up to 900 science soon. God damn it, this is insane. Alright, another cargo ship. This one goes to Damascus. God, that's a lot of gold per turn. Uh, now we can go... Uh, now we can really start the unit production for full hair. Let's go with um, artillery. Ooh, someone just built Manhattan Project. That is never a good thing. Oh, a settler. How cute. Let's go capture it. Alright. Uh, I might actually be tempted to go grab a uh, March promotion on these guys. That will heal them for 10 extra hit points per turn, which is pretty godlike. And what am I going to do with this guy? Probably build some more farms, I think. Or maybe some mines. I don't know. What kind of tile improvements? Nah, not that many, actually. We, we were pretty good here. Um, I could grab some more farms, I suppose. Grab a mine too if I really wanted to. Might as well build one. I'm gonna grow my. I'm Berlin is gonna grow slowly but steadily. It could grow faster, but right now I'm in full war mode, so. But I can bombard that city with up to three artillery units. Yes, I can. However, I need to take care of the ships as well. I think I'm gonna give them all um, accuracy actually. Let's see, Rome is down there. I could build a fleet and kill Rome. Oh, he's friendly and stuff. How nice. I could build a fleet in Rio de Janeiro and float it all the way over here and actually siege Ro Rome's capital with battleships. That is pretty a pretty cool strategy as well. Have I built Military Academy right here? I don't think so. No, I don't. There's a lot of buildings I need here. Alright, a great writer. How nice. Okay, that's 18 extra gold per turn. Uh, I'm not going to upgrade those yet, my friend. That's not happening. Let's make another great work of arch. Fools have a habit. And I just got another worker who I honestly don't know what to do with, so I'm just going to sleep him, I think. Yeah, that's probably the best thing to do. 
I might actually put them on auto improve uh, because uh, there might be some places that I've overlooked. So I might just do that, possibly. They d they won't override all the priorities. They'll just build buildings where they see fit, which I think I might actually do. Sometimes the AI misses some small holes that you don't see. So, uh, and I can focus fully on the war, not on maintenance and tile improvements. Alright, 73 gold per turn. This is starting to look like an economy. Oh crap, Gandhi has reached... Uh, oh, that's bad. Let's take a look at India. Oh my fucking god. Oh, that's bad. Gandhi has a shitload. Well, he sucks with the Shoshone though. And thank god for that. Yeah, that's not good. He's influential with me right now. Alright, do I want a order tenants? Um, I think I'm just going to continue with rationalism, to be quite honest. Uh, so we can get one gold from science buildings. That will also help our economy a lot. That gave us a lot of gold. That's good. Yeah, you can just go and improve, I guess. Same with you. I need to get this uh, war started right now, because Gandhi is uh, pretty much taking over the game. In fact, I think I'm going to crush Rome, and then I'm going to go straight for Gandhi. In fact, I think that's exactly what I'm going to do, because he's the, clo he's, the, he's the most dangerous of the leaders right now, and I can rush into his countries so quickly. I don't, I don't think I have a... Um, okay. Oh, right. God. Yeah, sure, Pedro. We can we can be friends. It's not like you contribute much, but maybe we can start getting research agreements soon. He's pretty much going to be slaughtered pretty soon, though. So yeah, C uh, crush Aritium. That will hopefully make Caesar sign a peace treaty. Then attack Gandhi with everything I got and try to get some other leaders to join me. So I should probably avoid trading with Gandhi. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna train with. I'm train with Askia, I think. Alright. Even more artillery. Let's give them accuracy. Oh, I should have given them wall in. I, I'm stupid. Alright, wall in next time then. Okay, we gotta build even more cargo ships here. Let's queue up some. We can queue up three more. Two more. Alright. Let's see. Panzer! Okay, there's a lot of rough terrain here. But the cities are actually pretty exposed. Hmm. What should I go for? I think perhaps shock would be the best. The cities are pretty much like his he has a lot of flat terrain actually, so I think I'll definitely go with shock. Alright, I'll take the panzer with me here for now. Ooh, he's he's been stupid enough to take another city. That is very cute. Well while we're waiting for the artilleries, we might go crush it, right? We can take an anti-aircraft gun with us. Some panzers. Everything should be pretty good. Mm. You're not getting my city, dipshit. Alright. I'm at peace with him now. I I'm actually regret that a little bit because I know he's going to go to war with me soon, but this gives me more time to... Um, okay, it's, it's definitely going to have to be India. India is, is running away with tourism. And... Uh, now, I'm not sure. I can actually check my relations. Let's see. Uh... Let's see, Diplomacy Overview. Let's go check out India. Pocatello has become a nuisance. Why? Do you really think you have any chance against Pocatello, Pedro? <laughs> or are you just stupid? Alright, here we have Gandhi. Let's see. I don't care about the most literal people. Uh, there was a way to view their relations at one point. Global politics, I think? Yeah, let's see if he has declaration of friendship with anyone. Let's see, Declar allied with Valletta. He has a lot of city-states. Uh, he's friends with Rome, friends with Songhai, friends with Brazil. So I will piss some people off. I will. Okay, I might as well start moving my... Uh, I'm gonna, I can actually siege Baghdad, Baghdad from here, which is pretty insane. Let's get our great generals into position. There we go. I can't do anything about that right now, but I guess there is nothing to be done. I don't want to move too close in case he starts suspecting me. I 
I have Pentagon in a single turn, so that's good. There's a great musician here. I could actually... How am I with... Uh, how is Caesar with influence? Let's see, Rome. Not that high. I was thinking about performing a concert turn, but I'm not really going for a... Alright, so we have a uh, spy here that needs a signing. I say we spy on uh, Gandhi, actually. Definitely. My bad. Alright, this one is going over here. We need a lot of artillery, we need a lot of anti-aircraft guns, and we need a lot of uh, panzers. Once I'm done with, uh, the once I'm done with, uh, no, I'm not interested in going to war against Pocatello. It's Gandhi who needs to die right now. It's Gandhi's dangerous. So can I take him? Can I take him? Let's check out the demographics. Uh, soldiers, Gandhi is strongest. He has almost 50% more soldiers than me. I might have better tech than him, and I definitely will have if I get more research agreements. Which is pretty kick-ass. Open borders. No, thank you, sir. I have no interest in that. I do believe I have a declaration of friendship with him, though, so I have to wait until it runs out. Pretty sure I have to do that. Alright, so the plan is to... I'll crush Baghdad. I'll probably crush... Um, hmm. Going at a straight all-out war with him is going to be very tricky. Especially if I try to attack... I mean, actually attacking on multiple fronts can work sometimes too. Alright, you can just go and improve stuff. But at least now I can, I can upgrade my units pretty darn cheap, as you can see right here. I think I can even get some Lancers. Yes, I can. Lancers are pretty decent. Not now, but... Alright, I think the attack will mostly come from Rio. Now, I definitely want him to... Um, I definitely want him to... Uh, if, I, if I can bribe some other civs into attacking him... Oh, I can trade with Rome. That's pretty cool. 25 gold per turn. That's too good not to do. And I'm gonna get myself a machine gun... We're going to be taking this general with us, that's for sure. This infantry unit can come too. I think I might need some more... Um, I might very well need some more uh, anti-aircraft guns. It's very risky to move away from Rome in this passion. He wants embassies? I know he's a sneaky little fucker. I know he's a sneaky little fucker. It's probably going to backstab me the moment I turn away. This, yeah, <laughs> Arabia doesn't even have any units left. Alright, so yeah, attack Baghdad, attack Medina, possibly send some units to Hong Kong just to distract him. I do have panzers, which are ridiculously quick. No, no, no. You want some iron? Nah, he doesn't value those. He doesn't value them at all. Now nah, I'm gonna have aircraft too. No. I don't want to have make a declaration of friendship with you. I plan to destroy you. But that machine gun right here, with logistics and plus one range, that's a pretty powerful tool. Just need to adjust my headset a little bit. Alright, I have bombers. If I want to. Okay, we have more artillery right here. Let's send them up here, and I think it's time to build some panzers. It's going to take uh, five turns in the city, which is pretty badass. Do we have everything we need in the city? I do believe we do. Yes, we do. Panzer. I'd like to build an aqueduct, but I honestly can't. Ooh. Yeah, rocketry for sure. For sure. In fact, I'm going to buy this tile. Okay, we can bring the Lancers with us. I do believe they promote into tank. Uh, yeah, they promote an anti-tank gun. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. Do 
Da, 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 da. Yeah, mobile Sam's and uh, and rocket artillery. That's that's where that's where shit's at. Pretty much. All right, let's send this. Uh, mobile Sam's are even greater than anti-aircraft guns. They have much longer range and just better at intercepting overall. Duh. And I can also start the Apollo program if I really wanted to. I do not want open borders with you. Thank you very much. So yeah, I'm gonna be done building the heroic epic pretty shortly. Okay, Aska has completed the Apollo program. However, it's gonna take them a very long time before they get a space race. I do actually think I am the top now. I'm slightly behind Askia, but only slightly. I think I'm number two. Pretty sure I'm number two. Nope. I'm number three, actually. However, once I get more tenants in the... Uh, if I get uh, Scientific Revolution, I'll get so much tech out of research agreements. Alright. Just gonna watch out for the city a little bit, because it has a tendency to get... Now, okay, we're good now. Alright. I want to be prepared when I attack. Hopefully I will. Alright, um, I could build a fighter with extra range. Or I could build panzers. I think I might just go for panzers. I hope he won't start suspecting something when I do this. He might. So I'm not going to move all of the units. We need armory in Rio de Janeiro. We finally have seven trade routes. That doesn't mean I'm going to trade with Gandhi though. Yeah, he might start getting suspicious soon. So I should be careful, but... Yeah, I'm gonna keep them in the back for now. And then I'm gonna move in and set them up when I'm gonna declare war. I guess the sister has completed Manhattan Project. That is never a good thing. There might be nukes in this game. A lot of nukes. So how many tanks do I need? As many as I have oil for, that's for sure. I'm gonna need some aluminium as well. Okay, greet his comrade. Yes, you are order, but I don't care. I'm still gonna rape you. It's too bad. I really wanted to take Aritium, but when he when he declared when he asked for his peace treaty, I I thought it was too good to pass up. All right, I'm gonna pop. Um, I'm gonna pop. Um, Oof, I want to move in, but I'm really afraid it's going to start asking whether I... Uh, let's go for more Panzers. Did I get my military academy? Oh, crap. I guess it doesn't matter now. I'm just going to have to build units right now. I can't stop anymore. Alright, we're going to pop rocketry with this. That's amazing. That should give us some rocket artillery. And some mobile SAMs. Ooh, the rocket artillery are really, really good, but they are so expensive. 240 gold. Holy crap. Alright, uh, what should we go for now? I suppose we should go for Atomic Theory, and that's going to give us more uh, money from the... Uh, that's going to give us a lot more money from... Uh, sorry, I mean uh, science from the academies, which is pretty boss. boss. Da, 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 Ooh, I need a lot more cash toy if I'm gonna upgrade all of those rocket artilleries. Holy crap. I'm glad my economy is very strong now. Da, 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 da. Alright, he wants open borders. I am not interested in that. Just more uh, tourism for that guy. I think I should be able to uh, upgrade another rocket artillery. I would like some mobile Sams, though. I know that he has fighters. I would be pretty surprised if he didn't have fighters at this stage. Alright. Uh, we can get another rocket artillery now, I think. Yeah. Pretty fucking awesome. I do believe the time for war is almost upon us. A few more turns, a few more units, a few more panzers, and I will feel confident to attack. First first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to all the different AIs and I'm going to see if, if some of them are interested in declaring war against India. I don't think I'm going to bother with Harun al-Rashid or Pedro. 
I'll ask them anyway, just for fun. Uh, but I think uh, Indonesia is going to be my prime target. I don't think my, my relations with him are pretty good, though. So I'm probably going to pay a, a lot, but it's still worth it, because what happens when a border, when an AI on, uh, just beside each other's borders declare war is that they have a tendency to move all their units to the borders, which means I will get a window of opportunity where I have free reign over everything that goes on. And I just received a Panzer. That is pretty cool. Well, it's probably just a normal tank. It's just a tank, but hey, it's just a tank, said no one ever. Uh, you can just go and improve. Uh, let's see, uh, you're just gonna pop a golden age, that's actually perfect. More gold for us. Upgrade this one, now we have a mobile Sam. They're still only limited to two range, but they have a lot of firepower. They can shoot down fighters and bombers pretty darn easily. Alright. Next turn, I will declare war. I feel confident right now. After I talk, I, I'm gonna talk to the leaders, give them one turn, so that uh, he will start moving his units, and then I'm gonna declare war on him. First, denounce him, then declare war. As by denouncing him, I might, um, I might gain some allies because he might not be very well liked. But he has a fucking huge ass territory. This is gonna be some war, I tell you. This is gonna be some war. But I didn't declare. I didn't. I didn't. I'm not friends with Gandhi, am I? Alright, Academy of Science Yield improved by two. That's pretty boss. Boss right there. It's gonna give me a lot of tech. Almost a thousand, actually. Do Oh, we have a uranium? Oh, that's pretty badass. I'm actually just gonna go and improve that right away. Alright, what are we gonna go for now? Nuclear fission, refrigeration. Let's see, I'm getting a lot of techs right now. Um, I suppose I could go for atomic bomb. I would also get something out of... Hmm, how much uranium is there? There? Four. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's build more panzers, actually. And we also need a military academy right here. Alright. This is it. My Okay. I'm going to talk to all the leaders now. First Caesar. So. What how much do you want to declare war on India? Do you even want to do it? Nope. Okay. He doesn't want to do it. Alright. Harun al-Rashid. Do you want to declare war on... Gandhi? Nope. Pretty understandable. He's most likely terrified of Gandhi. Do you want to declare war on Gandhi? Nope. Pocatello. Do you want to declare war on... No, Shut up. Do you want to declare... No, not Harun al-Rashid. Declare war on... I might not get a lot of assistance right here. He can't because he's in a peace treaty. Alright, Indonesia. These are the ones I'm really betting on right here. Bagyo. Bagyo. They are not interested. No reason in asking Pedro or Gandhi. Alright then, I'll just announce the fucker. And then... I'm gonna... No, I'm not gonna declare war. Declare war. Bring your worst. That's all I can say. Alright. We have some... Oh my god. Rocket artilleries are pretty badass. Okay. Ho 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 ho. Ooh. Pretty badass. Oh, I have four unhappiness right now. That's not good. Yum. All right, we have another Panzer right here. Almost sounds like I'm saying Panzer, but no, I do indeed mean Panzer. Okay, was that all the units we could move? I doubt that. At any rate, I think we can march on Hong Kong soon. In fact, in fact, I think I definitely will march on Hong Kong. But yeah, I didn't like the fact that I attacked his friend. But that's fine. This is going to be a pretty brutal war. I think I'll take many of his cities on the way. However, it might happen. Um. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of people who won't be very happy with me right now. But it's not like I can just leave Gandhi alone. He will win the game, if left alone. 
But I don't like the fact that I'm so low on happiness. Ooh! Yes, Pedro. I knew keeping him as an ally would pay off in the end. He's not giving us a gold. However, mm, I'm probably uh, gonna have to build some happiness buildings right now. I'm getting a massive combat penalty right now. I'm getting an 8% combat penalty. It may not sound like much, but it really does add up. Trust me. Alright. Let's just pillage a whole lot of shit and start taking a city. Race. Oh my god, 15 happiness. Oh, 15 unhappiness even. Um, I'm guessing I'm just going to keep building... I can't build any more panzers, sadly. Uh, I think I want another mobile Sam, actually. I can actually get an anti-tank gun. I suppose that's not a bad deal. Alright then. There we go. Do we have a mobile Sam with us? Yes, we do. As long as we keep that in the back, everything should be fine. Ooh, what's this? That's a uh, Cossack. Alright. Ah, another great general. I guess we can split them up then. Yeah, 15 in happiness. That is not good. That pretty much means that most of my units are completely worthless. So I need to do something about this. This is what I love about the Panzers, or the tanks in general. They are so goddamn fast. They are so exceptionally fast. Alright, let's bring the mobile sum up with us. As well as the rocket artillery. We're gonna keep marching on India. Hmm. But 15 unhappiness, that is just not good. I think I'm gonna have to switch my production pretty darn quickly. I can't do it in Hamburg, but... Yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, start building... Uh, let's see, what can I build? Um, do I not have any happiness buildings that I could get? I can't build castles, but I have those already. Uh, how about Salvador? I can't build stadiums yet. I, okay, I'm going to build a castle first. Every little bit helps, remember. Yeah, castles will actually help me. But I need walls first. Happiness is going to be a major issue if I don't do anything about it. Uh, there we go. Sue. I haven't built a Sue in my capital yet. That takes priority over Eunice right now. I'm going to have revolts soon. I have a 50. No, I have a 30% uh, uh, oh crap. Alright, maybe you want to buy some resources? Sure. At least my gold is looking very solid. It's my happiness that's really going down the drain. Alright, but it doesn't really look like Gandhi has a lot of soldiers. He, he did have a large army, but I guess they're anywhere. Uh, okay, you can bitch all you like. Really, you can. Ooh, my mach No, my machine gun! Ooh, that's not good. How dare you? Cossacks are pretty darn good. Alright, uh, let's see, let's get these rocket artillery closer. Let's get some anti tank guns up in here. Ooh, Lancers. So scary, huh? See, let's actually uh, help out here a little bit. Can't pillage this turn, sadly. Uh, that city's gonna get burned to the ground, so that won't really have a huge effect. Hmm. Wow, that penalty is really kicking in right now. Okay, the mobile sum doesn't have great strength, so we gotta take care of it. 14 in happiness right now, which is better, I suppose. As long as I stay below 10, I am pretty happy. I st I'm still on a golden age despite having 14 in happiness. <laughs> pretty huge. I should totally try to get some city states to join me, some mer mer mercantile city states. Um, I'm at war with almost every. Okay, Sakuraman actually both want. They want a gold gift. Can I actually get this? 
50 influence, that's not a lot, actually. If I could get allied with them, that would be pretty huge. Will I get... I won't get 25... Uh, I won't get that much gold from just... Alright, I'm starting to lose units right now. That's actually a tank that just got killed. They are definitely... He, de he is definitely lower on me in the tech department. But that doesn't really matter much. However, oh my god, I am crushing his city. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. I could liberate it. Ah! That's a really good way of doing it. Harun al Rashid won't win anyway, so... And I have open borders with him, so... And that also won't give me any further warmonger penalty. But I'm such a genius. Alright, uh, we need to heal, actually. I think, yeah, Hong Kong is also a... Uh, it's actually a, a... Yeah, that was sieged as well. Right, let's get the anti-tank gun up here. Not that I see any tanks, but I guess it's always nice to have them along. Alright, let's see. Uh, Sakanamand. I, that will give me 45 influence. I'm currently 50 behind. Hmm. I need to give a thousand gold if I want to get that city-state. I really need that city-state. Alright, I think I'm actually going to send my... Okay, I'm going to wait six more turns, but... I'm actually going to send this spy to Sakanamand. So I could reduce his uh, uh, influence. Because that is a really important city right now. Extremely important. I can't have rebels doing revolts in my city. I could have liberated Baghdad, couldn't I? I guess I'll just burn it to the ground. But I could start liberating Harun al Rashid cities one by one. That would give me so much liberation points. And Gandhi was a fucker to begin with, starting to take them. He should expect this much. Holy crap, the rocket artilleries are good. Oh my god, they are so good. Ah! Who's defending? Gandhi. Gandhi the fucker, starting to, to pillage my trade routes. Idiots. Alright. Let's, uh... Should we... Yeah, let's go liberate Mecca. That sounds like a great fucking idea. However, I think perhaps we should help out here first, to be quite honest. Whew! Okay, that, that city was slightly more resilient. I'll give it that. Let's go pillage. Good thing about tanks is that they can pillage tw twice, like maybe even three, four times. Alright, we'll just keep liberating. That's what we do. I can liberate Mecca once I've healed up a little bit. And I'm sure Haldar, Arun Hal Rashid doesn't mind me um, doesn't mind me uh, pillaging a little bit. After, after all, I'm giving his cities back to him. Oh, are we down to 11 happiness right now? Or unhappiness, I should say. Um, that's good. We're building Zeus and shits. We're getting uranium, which might give us some power plants. We can, in fact, build four power plants. That would probably be better, I think, than having nukes. I mean, nukes are pretty good, but I think I can win this war without them. When you use nukes, you destroy every single point of... Uh, it gives you such a huge diplomatic penalty to use nukes. It also encourages other AIs to use nukes on you. <laughs> uh, he, he was just ranting on me for attacking India. Now he loves me for it. Pretty cool. Well, as long as this reduces his chance of getting a culture victory, I'm completely fine. He doesn't really have much. I am really crushing him in, in the tech department. Ugh, more trade routes are getting pillaged. That is so fucking annoying. Alright, Hong Kong. Time to pay the piper. Alright, charge? No, I think I'm gonna go for shock, actually. I'm just gonna heal up my tank. This is so amazing. Phew! So then I can actually pillage and move back, move up here, and pillage even more. This is what's so insane. Alright, let's get our mobile salmon up in here, as well as some great generals. I have a m another rocket artillery? Yeah, there it is. 
Okay, cool. Can't attack the city just yet, though. I need to get a little bit closer. Okay, 10 unhappiness right now, which is pretty decent. Uh, can I get any more happiness? Hmm, I don't think so. I'm definitely sure I won't get... No, I won't get any more happiness, so that's fine. Uh, might as well... No, I'm not going to get a lighthouse. Uh, in fact, I think I want another panzer, actually. Need to fill the gaps. But we're almost uh, we're almost uh, making it to the point where we won't get revolts, which is pretty cool. I might even buy that mercantile city-state, just because that's so much happiness for me. Yeah, of course Indonesia is plotting against me. It's been plotting against me the whole fucking game. What else is new? But yeah, nuclear plants in my main cities will really speed up the production a lot. Those are pretty insane. They're even better than the factories. Five production plus 15% production in total. That's a pretty sick building right there. Hmm. Alright, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to take Hong Kong this turn. I will have three rocket artilleries bombarding that shit. Alright, I'll send some great generals into the fray. Sadly, the bonuses do not do not stack. I wish they did. Oh, I actually had a promotion one right there. Okay, I won't take it on this turn. Oh, hoo -hoo, here comes the cavalry. Holy crap. Let's pull back. Um, in fact, I think I'm just going to have to go for the city right now. Oh, uh, that's cool. Let's get shock. Yeah, I need to really go for that city right now. Uh, World Ideology Order. I am very keen on that. I'm also keen on the Great Person Tile Improvement, actually. I'm going to put two votes into both, I think. I would like uh, for, for myself to get two additional delegates. That sounds like a very nice idea. Alright, pillage, pillage, pillage! Artillery! Kill it! Alright, he's already attacked. Fuck. Okay. Oh, revolts. Paratrooper revolts. That's, uh... Some serious business right there. Uh, I'm building a panzer, so I'm pretty sure I'll be good. I need to go. Now, that, those was those were definitely mine. They, were, they didn't come from a barbarian encampment. That was rebels in Salvador. I think they appear in your larger city. They usually do that. Hmm, the workers are actually auto-escaping, too. That's actually quite interesting to see. However, my panzer will come and make short work of those filthy barbarians. Heil Bismarck. <laughs> You're cute, Gandhi. Sure, I'll just give you three of my cities, because this is a war I lose. I to think of it, though. That's a lot of soldiers. <laughs> I think I need everything I have over here. This is going to be a pretty tough war. However, I'm not sure if he's at war with Hanun al-Rashid, so if I liberate this city, I might actually get a breather here. I might even go and liberate Mecca. All right. So, we have a scientist. Thank you. Now we can get satellites, would actually be kind of interesting. However, I think I'm going to go for the Great Firewall, possibly. Alright, thank you. Let's see, what can this city build? Uh, nuclear plants, for sure. I have three or more uranium, which I can spend. I'm going to get a nuclear plant here as well. Now, let us uh, take this city and liberate it. And, oh, that was actually a city-state. Even better. Alright, good fucking luck. That's all I'm going to say to you, Gandhi. Alright, we can get volley right now, which is really good. This is what I really love about tanks. They're just so mobile. Yeah, feel free to come into the city-state, my friend. I'll meet you with the storm of death. The rocket artillery here. The mobile Sam is just waiting. I'm going to pillage and then just back off, I think. I thought that was a uh, city state, but hey, I'm very happy about that. They're mercantile, which means they're giving me tree happiness. They don't seem to have any special resources yet. They probably will get them soon. All right, we need to send some... Uh, I'm actually tempted to build a road, actually. I think I might do that, even though they haven't requested one. I'd love to have a road up there. All right, that's good. Worker, you can go improve tiles right now. Uh, the tanks can probably just stay here and need to kill that guy. Alright, we've already attacked this turn. Yeah, I'm liberating city after city. He might he might take Hong Kong back, but I'm just going to liberate it again and keep getting influence with the city. 
when you liberate a city state, you get like 200 influence or something. So it's pretty pretty worth it. I, I'd say liberating a city state is the, always the best uh, option because it doesn't give you warmonger penalty. In fact, it decreases your warmonger penalty, which is insane. Yeah, and now he loves me even more. Let's see, World Congress. We have World Ideology Order. And we have... What else did we get? Ah, we did get a, a historical landmarks, which is pretty cool. Alright, now he's going to try to take the city back. This is going to be a pretty impressive war. And I think this is a good time to end this part. Look at that fucking army marching. Gandhi is sending his entire force to try and retake Hong Kong. Will we let him? Fuck no. I intend to hold this city with my life, but it's going to be a tough struggle. That's a lot of infantry units he's just sending towards me right there. A lot of cannon fodder too. Some cavalry and stuff, but that is a formidable force he has right there. Probably is going to have a hard time to hold Hong Kong, but we'll see. At least I have it on my side now, so we'll start bombarding him, which is always good. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you more in the next part. Goodbye.